Hey, everybody. It's Mr. Chris from Hudson Area Public Library. I wanted to talk about uh, this week's STEM, uh, STEAM, rather, take and make kit. So these are at the library right now. And you'll notice I've got a very dramatic sheet saying, warning, sharp sticks in bag. Uh, be careful removing. So I just want everybody to know that because if there's little hands uh, reaching into the bag, we have some of these uh, bamboo skewer sticks that I'll show you. So they're just really pokey on one end. I didn't want anybody to get hurt uh, using them. So you should have uh, three. You can see, sort of see the point there. So that's what I'm talking about. The other end is pretty flat, but there is a pokey kind of uh, like a pinhead uh, sharpness on one. So just be careful when you're using that or you can have a parent help you with this. But what you're going to work on for this kit is uh, making a little uh, exoplanet system. And those are explained if you haven't heard of what an exoplanet is. Um, it's kind of uh, included in the kit bag. There will be a description on that. Also an artwork page for you. This is an exoplanet uh, very far away from the Earth. And it's an artist depiction of if you were this astronaut standing on this planet that is orbiting two stars. It's a binary star system, is what we call it, two star system. And uh, Kepler 16b is the name of this planet. And it was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope. That's why it has the name. And the interesting thing on this, if you can see, is no matter where you would stand on this planet, you would always have two shadows because you would be looking up into the sky, kind of like Star Wars. Uh, those of you who've seen a uh, solar system way far away from the Earth that has two suns and planets that orbit it. And so you can color this sheet uh, to be what you think the surface of that planet might be like. And then I've included in the kit, as you saw before, there's uh, some styrofoam balls of different sizes. I put crayons. Some of them have Play-Doh, colored pencils. You can use paint and markers that you have at home. But you're going to kind of have a setup like this, if you can see my colors there. So you can do whatever arrangement you want. Every bag has uh, three or four skewer sticks and I think about six styrofoam balls to make your own planets there. So you can make them where one is the star and then you have moons or planets orbiting that. You can have the sticks going out in different directions. So you're kind of making a whole little model of a solar system. I've got one here I can show you where I used uh, Play-Doh on it. Some of the bags have a little jar of Play-Doh in it. So I made some mountain ranges, uh, you can see there, and some ice channels and whatnot. And then the, if you let it, uh, the play will kind of air dry and harden up. So then you can uh, have that permanently on the planet you make. But the creativity on this is that um, uh, we all know what our sun looks like and the planets in our solar system. We've got some great books and just featuring a couple here at the library. So we've got a whole table set up. If you want to get any books to learn more about this, but there are what we call exoplanets, which are planets that are orbit other stars way far away from our solar system. And we have a few spacecraft that are discovering new exoplanets every day. So when you look up at the night sky, if you go out tonight or on the weekend, any other night, it's a clear night and you look up and see stars. Those stars are suns like our sun. And all of those stars have planets orbiting them, just like there's planets in our solar system orbiting our sun. And in turn, some of those planets have moons, like we have a moon. So it's a much more complicated universe than uh, astronomers thought even just a uh, hundred years ago. So that's some of the uh, explanation sheets I have in there, talking a little bit about exoplanets and how we find them. There are some websites where you can go to see some of the current artwork on what we think some of those exoplanets might look like, and then you can create your own uh, exoplanet or exoplanet system based on how creative you want to be and what you think it might look like or be inspired by some of the artwork you see uh, on the NASA websites. So that is this week's uh, STEM take and make activity, and I just thought I'd explain a little bit about how you can do the skewers and to be careful kind of poking those in there, because you can just have one on either end, or you could have, for example, we can go with what I was showing you before and then just have this poked into a larger planet. So these could be the two moons orbiting this planet. So you can make them in whatever arrangements you want. Some people put their bamboo skewers out kind of like spokes in a wheel to make a little system of the stars and the center. 
So I thought it'd just be a creative way for you to kind of see uh, some of the guesstimate work NASA artists are doing to see what these exoplanets might look like and for you to have some fun creating uh, your own. So that's this week's uh, STEM Take and Make kit. And uh, again, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll send you another STEAM kit out next week and we'll talk about it then. Thanks a lot.